What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Sony and Microsoft have really been going at it with this console war thing and very classy individuals like Phil Spencer are really tired of it. I actually got to say I'm kind of tired of it as well. I don't mind being a, a person who's in one ecosystem more than the other, but the fanboyism has to stop. That being said, Microsoft has a much better holiday lineup ending off this year than Sony. They got Forza, they've got Halo, they got Tomb Raider, they've got, you know, games that people are really excited about. They got Gears of War. Sony really doesn't have much of anything uh, when it comes to holiday lineup. And so you're probably in the mindset that I am that holiday 2015 is going to be long to Microsoft because Microsoft has first party games. They've got a much better lineup and Sony hasn't really announced anything that is noteworthy or breathtaking on, on any level. And so Sony has been winning the console war handedly since the, the uh, release of these next gen consoles, currently current gen consoles. And Microsoft, through the grace and pizzazz of this man, this myth, Phil Spencer, has really been climbing the ladder, kind of regaining the hope and, and, and the, the dollars of the video game consumers. Phil Spencer is the reason I bought my Xbox One. Actually watching this guy, watching him turn everything that Matrick did around and actually make the Xbox One seem like a very attractive system to me. So I was in the market to say that Microsoft was going to really pretty much own Sony, especially in the last three out of four months of 2015. That may not be the case now because Sony has just announced something that could really amp up the sales of the PlayStation 4 in lieu of not really having any great first-person titles. This article is on PlayStation.com. Since the launch of PS4, we have been thrilled with the amount of gamers jumping into the world of PlayStation for the first time. If you haven't made the jump yet and you're starting early on your holiday wish list, I have good news. We're dropping the price of the PlayStation 4 system in the U.S. and Canada. Starting tomorrow, October 9th, You'll be able to pick up the PS4 starting at the new price of $349 US and $429 Canada, Canadian dollars. Our goal at PlayStation has always been to provide the best gameplay experiences at the best value, and we feel this new compelling price will open the doors to even more gamers that have yet to purchase the system. Over the past few months, we've introduced a number of bundles that feature some of the biggest games coming to PS4. This holiday season, here's a snapshot of our new prices for the current PS4 hardware lineup. So they've got the PS4 Uncharted Nathan Drake Collection at $349, which gives you the PS4, of course, Nathan Drake. they got the limited edition Call of Duty Black Ops 3 one terabyte, which in the U.S. is going to be $429. The limited edition Disney Infinity which is going to be $399. Limited edition Star Wars Battlefront, $399. Uh, Star Wars Battle 4 PS4 bundle is $349. And NHL 16 PS4 bundle is $429. Um, this is actually pretty solid news. I was thinking that we'd probably hear something in Paris Games Week, but it appears that Sony has gone out and let the cat out of the bag. I don't know, man. With the PS4 outselling the Xbox One pretty much two to one since they've been released and Sony winning over month after month after month, this might help tip the favor back into Sony's side of things. If people understand and know that the PS4 is actually the same price as the Xbox One, I think right now, as far as consumers go, the PS4 is the more attractive of the two because it is, on the hardware side, just, just a little bit more powerful than the Xbox One. Now that their prices are more comparable, people might really, really jump on that PS4 faster than the Xbox One because, honestly, that has been Microsoft's real trump card. They went from a $500 console to... Uh, $350 console and people felt like that was a huge saving people have really been jumping on that I bought mine at $349 now with the PS4 being $349 it might be a little bit harder for Microsoft to build up the momentum that they honestly need I think that Microsoft really has a great shot this year at the end of the year with some of these great titles that people are really excited about but if Sony's doing this move starting tomorrow this might really throw a monkey wrench into Microsoft's plans. You guys let me know what you think. Do you think the 349 price drop for PS4 is going to really change things up? Do you think people are going to be more excited about PS4? Or do you think that the first party and exclusive titles for the Xbox One at the end of the year are too much for a price drop to really matter? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys like the video, be sure to give a thumbs up, show support of my channel, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe today. I'm the Beastly Gamer. I'll see you guys next time.